We begin with a CBS2 exclusive new video that a mother says proves her young son with autism was abused on a school bus. That mother was first alerted to trouble when her son came home with marks on his hands. CBS2 Suzanne Lemonio has been following the family story for nearly two years. Now we're about to show you that video and a warning. You may find it hard to watch. This video was captured on a school bus in February of 2020. We're blurring the faces of the bus driver and attendant because neither have been charged with a crime. Watch as the bus attendant yells. Bah. <laughs> She's talking to Macaulay Fry. At the time, he was a nine year old student at Harvard Elementary in the greater Grand Crossing neighborhood. Macaulay has autism. The bus attendant goes over to Macaulay and tells him to turn around. She appears to raise his hands in the air. Hey, your mom talked to you <laughs> The bus driver says to the attendant, Next, you hear Macaulay yell. No. The attendant tries to restrain him. The boy's lawyers say possibly by tying his hands together. The attendant gets up to walk towards the front of the bus, then turns to the child and says, I ain't finished. I got to redo you. She then says to the bus driver, Macaulay, I ain't found you. <laughs> That's the bus driver responding with a laugh to the bus attendant's comment. Now listen closely. As the wheelchair lift is moving, the attendant walks over, points to Macaulay, and says, He can't play. He going to sit right there and be tied up like a slave. Can't believe it. You got to tie you up every day. Fry is Macaulay's mother. To compare tying a child up to, to slavery is just horrible. It's just very hard to watch for me. Very hard to speak about it as well. Fry has been working with her legal team on the case since July of 2021. They went so far as to blame a 10-year-old autistic child for the actions of not one but two adults that were present when this happened. I think that's horrific. It's, it's unacceptable. Attorney Ted Vanesky is referring to the response to Fry's lawsuit made by Illinois Central School Bus. The company says the boy contributed to his alleged injuries because of his behavior. CPS told us the bus attendant was pulled from her position. The bus company says the driver was let go after the company learned about the incident. In the newsroom, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS2 News.